Hello, my name is Sam and today I'm going to be doing some perfumery. So, I have realised that I need to improve my fundamentals, i.e. learning the actual raw ingredients. Because when you make a perfume, what you find is very quickly, um, your formula becomes a soup of many, many ingredients and you have no clue what is going on. So the way to fix that is by going back to basics and learning them from the start. So, there is a quite famous article by Edmund Rudnitska, and this guy is, or was, a very famous perfumer. And what he basically says is that you need to arrange the different fragrance compounds into families, and then go and learn those families, which basically helps arrange the information in your mind. So today I'm going to start off with citrus because as he says it's apparently the easiest family and yeah let's see what happens. Now I don't actually have access to all of the citrus materials because there are loads of these so I'm just going to stick to five key naturals for now. These are orange, lemon, tangerine, bergamot and grapefruit. Note that all the materials I use in this video are from Pell Wall. Um, which is a UK supplier, and these are the best quality I could find, not affiliated with them in any way whatsoever. I've also tried some citrus oils from Mystic Moments, uh, that's another supplier, and I quite like to use them because they make all of their legal safety documentation readily available. This is extremely important for me because I sell my perfumes commercially, and when you sell your perfumes commercially, you have to have all of the kind of correct documentation in order to sell it legally. For the citrus family in particular, the Mystic Moments oils were inferior in terms of olfactory quality and therefore I decided not to use them, um, but this isn't true of all of their oils. Um, I've also used Hermitage oils in the past and I believe their quality level can be quite high, however I am trying not to use them because of the fact that they don't always supply or don't even often supply the safety documentation with their oils. However, if you're not looking to sell your perfumes, then they could be a great supplier for you. So the first material that I looked at is sweet orange oil. Um, you can also get bitter orange oil as well, but I don't have that. Um, and this is extracted through cold expression, which is effectively a technique where um, the oil is mechanically extracted from the peel and then purified. I'll put a link in the description for the full process. Um, and this is pretty much the process that all of the citrus oils in general are extracted by to get high quality perfumery oil. So the oil is composed of over 90% limonene and this is an extremely common aroma chemical and it's present in lots of the citrus oils. Um, I recommend you get some of this and smell it and you will find how close it is to an orange smell. Um, but the actual orange of the um, oil, the orange oil, is more of kind of an elaboration as such by nature on this aroma chemical. You will find the remaining 5% or so of mass in the oil is what makes it smell like a real orange as opposed to just this one um, chemical aspect of orange. And I think it's quite an important lesson when you're creating your own accords because it goes to show how a little of something can go quite a long way. I found that the orange oil lasted between 15 minutes and 3 hours on the scent strip which classifies it as a top note. That means it will probably last up to about 15 minutes when on your skin. I decided to evaluate the orange oil at 10%, 1% and 0.1% dilution and what I found was at 10% it smells very fresh, um, quite exotic, like a crate of oranges at the market and as you decrease the dilution it becomes obviously lighter but it does seem to retain its character even at 0.1% um, and gives me the impression of kind of an ice lolly at this dilution. The next material is lemon oil. Now the interesting thing about lemon oil is I found out that it's actually apparently used in making custard. This means that you could potentially mix it with vanillin or vanilla and make a kind of custard accord if you wanted to. Lemon is also a top note so you'll find that it lasts on the scent strip in about the same time frame as the orange oil did, about 15 minutes to 3 hours depending on the concentration. I found that at 10% it smells like freshly grated lemon rind which isn't surprising given the expression method used to collect the oil. 
When you take it down to 1%, I felt it was more a bit like a lemon sorbet and maybe at 0.1%, much, much softer and fresh and kind of losing its characteristic lemon scent. And then for the composition. So the major component of lemon oil is still limonene. However, it's less than in the orange oil. At this time, it's 60 to 80%. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't have even known that limonene was in there, um, judging by the lemon oil alone. But this goes to show how the other components, particularly the citral, which is at 5% and smells um, quite lemony, if you smell that aroma chemical on its own, that really contributes clearly to the unique smell of the lemon oil. Um, beta pinene is the other really big constituent at 15%, um, and that aroma chemical usually smells like a fresh kind of forest scent to me. Next we have tangerine, again produced by cold expression of the peel. Um, and tangerine is interesting because it can be used in festive accords, think Christmas, think orange and cinnamon and cloves, that kind of thing. Um, but also I know that Pell Wool, which is the supplier from where I got the oil, also uses it in their incense accord. So clearly there are a lot of potential uses for it. Um, however, it is in reality very similar to orange oil. Um, the major constituent again is limonene at about 95%, so there isn't really much difference between the two. What does it smell like? Well, it simply smells like tangerine peel and that is it, I would say 10%. As you get out to 1%, maybe kind of like boiled orange sweet or something. And at 0.1%, it's just this kind of faint warm note. So maybe that would be a good concentration to be a modifier for something else. Again, it lasts for the same amount of time pretty much as orange oil. Again, it's a top note. Next up is bergamot. Now, this is one of the most widely used materials in perfumery and is usually found um, in Calabria and Sicily in southern Italy, which is where most of it's grown. Um, in particular, this bergamot is bergaterpene free. Burger terpenes are something that are usually found in bergamot oil, however they are discovered to be phototoxic, so if you want to use regular bergamot oil it's very very limited, I think it's about 0.4% um, in the final formulation if you're making a perfume. Bergamot is still a top note, however it is slightly longer lasting than the other citrus materials which I have looked at. This is because um, of the linalyl acetate, its major constituent at about 34%. This molecule is slightly larger and heavier than the other citrus terpenes such as limonene. Um, and that means that it's slightly harder to evaporate or less volatile and sticks around just a little bit longer. Bergamot contains significant amounts of limonene, basopinene, linalol and linalyl acetate. All of these are very common aroma chemicals and I would recommend um, trying these if you're going to make your own perfume so you know what they smell like. I found that at 10% the bergamot is kind of quite almost a fruity citrus, very fresh, a um, bit lemony kind of scent. However, as you dilute it down closer to 1% or 0.1%, it really starts to smell of the linalol and linalyl acetate components, which are very just kind of soft and generally nice smelling, but not particularly characteristic of any real thing in particular. Finally, we have grapefruit. Now, I am looking at white grapefruit. However, you can also get pink grapefruit, which does smell a little bit different. This is the most expensive oil per kilogram out of all the oils that I've looked at and also to me it seemed like it was the shortest lasting, however only by a very slight amount. This material is limited at 4% because of furocumarins which can be phototoxic if you're going to use it in a perfume. Um, Note that grapefruit oil is limited at 4% if you're using it to make a perfume. Grapefruit oil is also mostly composed of limonene, generally in the range of 86 to 96% depending on the exact oil that you have. This puts it um, very close to the orange and tangerine oils in terms of composition. However, I would say that the grapefruit oil does have its own distinct odour. 
for me at 10% the grapefruit oil smells like a really nice fresh grapefruit at 1% it still smells like grapefruit however it's not quite as strong um, and at 0.1% it's much more of a faint general but juicy citrus kind of flesh smell and that is it so i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video um, and let me know in the comments if you found this interesting or if not any other kind of perfumery topics that you would like to know about and i will see if i can make some more videos in the future so have a nice day goodbye